What do you say, Bailey? Huh? You a good helper? All right, day four of the build. And uh, looking pretty good, I think. Using my cell phone, hopefully the built-in stabilization will work. So, got the header put in. Need to cut those down, one, those two things above the header so that uh, the trusses will fit. And it looks like Bailey has already figured out how to get in. Let me back up here a little bit. Pretty happy with it. Uh, pretty plumb. <laughs> Colin did help me today. Um, so, yeah. Bailey, what are you doing? What are you whining about? All right. Maybe tomorrow we'll uh, show you a little more. A little more. Well, we had a major setback. We had to tear down this wall right here. And we're in the process of tearing down this wall. Uh, don't ask me how or why that, but I screwed up somehow. And you can see right there, my mistake. So this is good and all that's level all the way around to here and we have to raise this 2x4 up. Yeah, bummer. So Colin is doing some business this morning. I'm going to do some work on this I may cut this board right here up make it level with that so here's the backyard with set up that table here's the miter saw we got that over there okay so we also yesterday picked up most of the remaining wood so that's for the rafters and that's for this uh, roof and underneath that is the uh, siding and here's some trim work so yeah got plenty of work to do still probably going to set up another time lapse and by the way, um, I live near an airport, and uh, so there's lots of airplanes flying over all the time because it's an airport where they do train a lot of pilots to learn how to fly. Okay, and there's my helper checking things out again, aren't you? You checking stuff out? You gonna give me a jab? There you go. All right. Thank you. I needed that. You wanna shake hands? Or just sniff? Okay. Okay, uh, the first truss slash rafters are done. Thanks to my oldest son, 
Morgan, and there's the big helper down there, the Baileyster. All right, so looking good. You're gonna have to trim those ends off, but that's okay. Many hours later. So rafters are basically done. Okay, so looking good. Oh my goodness. Yep. Okay, so let me look at this way. We still have to do uh, the boards between the rafters, but looking good. I like it. Thanks to the help of my two sons. Aww. Yeah, it's this is correct. It's just this side. Suck! Oh. So we'll just shave that off with the What you doing down there, huh? All right, well. Start of another day. And uh, a little uh, hummingbird right there. Cool. He's been coming around all day long for several days, ever since I put up the Hummingbird feeder a couple days ago. Cool. So today, uh, I'm not going to work on this too long. I've got to go do something a little afternoon today. So, might try to get some of the cross bracing across here or over there. Not sure. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy. Even after all the, um, well, the couple of mistakes that happened, and um, it's, I'm gonna blame my all on that guy right there. He did it. He did it. So, um, <clears throat> again, I'm not gonna make any excuses for how I did this. Um, so if you're a professional carpenter, I really wouldn't recommend watching this because it, I'm sure that you're thinking that, boy, did I screw up, but I watch so many YouTube videos and there's different ways to do this. Uh, I stuck with, well, no, I didn't stick, but I decided that um, I wanted to do this method with these plates right here. It's the easiest and if this little cutout that would have been here is called a bird's mouth I believe and I didn't want to have to deal with that this is still plenty strong oh my goodness it's, it's saying you could drive a tank over and yeah it probably cost me more money but in the long run it's gonna last a long time I hope so that little octagon I think it is I'm not sure but anyway uh, shape down there was there was a fire pit like thing that I never used it was I did hose that down and it's probably just gonna be there forever uh, or wear off slowly over time but uh, this is just gonna be a storage shed slash uh, work shed I guess you could call it uh, we're back here. I'm going to build a, a workbench and then I'm going to have storage all along here and over here. 
um, may have a little tiny bit for small flat pieces up here that won't go past where the uh, workbench will come out go straight up and stop about there and put some flat stuff up there or pieces of wood or something so this tree up here let me back up here a little bit was probably was one of the main issues with uh, that pad being uh, unlevel over there that I showed you earlier um, a while back I had this trimmed I have solar panels up there on that side you can't see but uh, this is blocking the Sun in the mornings and um, so I had that trimmed didn't really do a whole lot uh, it, it was it's been leaning over for quite a while before I did that training uh, not training uh, cutting or I had it done put it that way and as you can see down here that root is pulling out of the ground or at least growing and I think that's what caused that unevenness right here right there so um, as much as I don't want to I think I'm gonna cut this thing down well, I'm not gonna cut it down I'm gonna have it cut down and I still have this beauty over here I really like this one it's nice and straight and uh, it will be away from the shed so yeah it's coming right along and this video is probably gonna be way too long for most of my uh, subscribers but um, I just wanted to make this what are you looking at what are you looking at <laughs> There you go. All right. So I'm gonna stop this and go eat some breakfast and then hit it hard. <laughs>